Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. There seem to be a lot of people now who think the United States would be better off if we stop the students who share their faith in public schools and we stop the elected officials who lay claim to First Amendment rights and we shut down the entrepreneurs who run their businesses according to their faith. But I ran across some people who have a different idea about that. Now, they're a little radical and they're willing to fight for what they believe, but I want you to hear from them in spite of their revolutionary ways. We have no government armed with power capable of contending with human passions unbridled by morality and religion, says John Adams, who happened to be our second president. Our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate to the government of any other. And then there's John Quincy Adams, our sixth president. There are three points of doctrine, the belief of which forms the foundation of all morality. The first is the existence of God. The second is the immortality of the human soul. And the third is a future state of rewards and punishments. Suppose it possible for a man to disbelieve either of these three articles of faith, and that man will have no conscience. He will have no other law than that of the tiger or the shark. The laws of man may bind him in chains or may put him to death, but they can never make him wise, virtuous, or happy. <laughs> when was the last time you heard a president talk like that? When was the last time? And listen to Fisher Ames, who helped shape the First Amendment, something five justices on the Supreme Court would now like to throw out with last night's pizza. Our liberty is founded on morals and religion whose authority reigns in the heart. There are a great many more, but this is a short commentary, so I'll get right to the point. Would you agree that we should heed the wise counsel of the people who shaped this nation? What they're telling us is the future of our liberty and of our nation is dependent upon a people who live by faith and who rely on those beliefs to select and guide their leaders.